film shoot, you know, like on a stage and then exteriors are at a location. So that's very, there's something very pure about that. First and foremost, I always have snacks. Oh my God, wait, let's start that again. You guys, literally, tooth floss. Okay, let's do that again. Hey, I'm Jordana Brewster, and this is what's in my bag, which is very messy right now because I'm traveling, so let's not try not to judge. First and foremost, I always have snacks, so I've got a granola bar. One of my favorites is the one from Trader Joe's. <laughs> I love having fresh breath, so I also have gum and mints, which I always need on hand. When you're flying on airplanes, you never know when it's gonna be cold, when it's gonna be warm. It's also in New York, the climate's weird, so got the sweater on hand. I have my cell phone, which I can't live without because otherwise I wouldn't be able to talk to my kids. When I'm traveling, I love carrying this smaller, smaller size of Pond's cold cream cleanser. Tonight I'll be using it later on the plane on my way home. And it's just a super easy way to clean my face. My favorite lip balm is, here, let me see. Dr. Hauschka, which I've been obsessed with for many years. It's like super moisturizing. Again, I'm all about moisture and, and yummy textures. So I love my Dr. Hauschka lip balm. Do, 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 eye drops. This blush is one of my favorites. It's actually Tory Burch and it's, it's such a pretty pink. What a, I don't know what it's called, but I use it on my cheeks and my lips, and it's just something that's super easy because you put it on your fingertips and then rub it on your face. And so it's kind of foolproof, which I love. One thing I can't live without that I always have in my bag, um, whether it's baby wipes or like, like these, these are actually Pond's wipes for my face, but I think wipes are so versatile because you can use them on your face, you can use them to wash your hands, especially when you're traveling, they're just great to have on hand. And I also, obviously, I think it's super important to have a giant bag because I carry so much, so I always say my bags are like Mary Poppins bags, and they're so big. I'm Jordana Brewster, and that's what's in my bag. I'm curious about what it's like to work with Justin Lin. The strangest n direction he's given me is pick up the harpoon, go through the sunroof, and aim it at the at the plane. And I just I I laughed. I was like, "What? Do you okay, can we just take a moment and realize how surreal this is?" Um, so that was that was definitely one of the oddest bits of direction I've ever had from Justin. But I I just I. I think Justin is like the Hulk. I think he, at some point he's got to like get so angry and burst because he's just so calm and so collected and given the amount of pressure he's under and how many personalities he has to deal with, I've, I have no idea how he does it. I admire him tremendously. I, yeah, I asked him when I, when I got on set, I was like, how are you really going to flip cars, dude? Like, <sighs> What's that, like, how are you gonna do this? Because every time it gets more and more, it's, it just gets bigger and bigger. And then he actually shows us, he's got this um, Prevez. Run on for a long time, run on for a long time, long time. Sooner or later, gotta cut you down. Where he shows us exactly what they're doing on second unit, and you're like, oh, well, I've been proven wrong. You absolutely can do that. You're badass. I've been proven wrong. You absolutely can do that. You're badass. Yes. I was great. Right. right. Well, often, especially the last sequence, there were so many different moving parts. And oh my God's gonna cut him down. Tell him my God's gonna cut him. And so, I mean, I think there were about six cars and one giant plane and, and 20 characters involved. So I had no idea what I was shooting. I was, I was just trusting Justin, doing what he asked me to do. And then it all came together beautifully um, when I saw the movie. And I was like, 
Oh, I get it. That's what he was going for. That looks really cool. Oh, how big it was going to become? None. I was a New Yorker. I was going to school. I, I was taking a semester off, um, and, and I was also off for the summer, and I just thought, I don't really care about cars, but like, it's kind of a cool script, and I get to kiss Paul Walker, so why not? I'll go to LA for, for a summer, and um, lo and behold, it turns into something huge, which is great. It's, it's grown up, but it's not, because we're all a bunch of actors, and we all get to play, and, um, and we get to just be part of a franchise that's super fun. So there's still a lot of kidding around. There's still a lot of joking, especially when Tyrese is on set. So it's not like we're all serious with our little baby Bjorns hanging out. I think there are different different actors enjoy different styles. So I kind of like memorizing the script and then and then riffing a little bit here and there. Um, Tyrese and, and Dwayne like to riff a bit more, so they improvise a bit more. Yes. How he's does a gentle giant. Gentle giant. He's so lovely and he's so uplifting. He has the the most positive energy. It's really nice to be around him. I hope so. Yeah. Um, well, Dallas season three got picked up, so I'm going to be working on that. And I'm also working on a dark comedy called North of Hell with Patrick Wilson and Catherine Heigl, which will be really fun because it's a totally different character for me. I would describe it as a thriller, and I think one of the great, great aspects of it was I, I was just watching another movie last night, and um, I kind of realized that human beings are much, much, much more scary than um, any kind of alien or animal. Or um, And I think the great part of this movie is that there is so much horror involved, or, yeah, pretty much horror within, like, just the human beings and kind of people transforming and seeing just... Um, being scared of the acting more than anything else. I think that's what's really, really, really appealing about this movie. It's pretty unbelievable to work with him on like my first movie. Um, I was really, really happy when I knew that he took on the role of Casey. Um, he's really, really generous. He doesn't have an ego as some people might think of a big star as he is. Um, I just love reacting off of him. He's so great in this role eclectic because nothing I think the whole star is he is um I just love reacting off of him he's so great in this role eclectic because nothing I think the whole cast is different and um just the fact that Williamson and Rodriguez are working together that's very very different mix and it works really well um innovative and uh, eclectic, innovative, and fun. Because <laughs> it's just it's just been a lot of fun. It's a really, really, really entertaining movie, and um, I'm I'm really psyched to see it.